Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all feeling fantastic. Now behind me is my own tinny. Yes, I bought one. I got my license not long ago, which I'm stoked about. So we uh, done that pit bike giveaway as well. I um, was supposed to deliver that tomorrow, but because of COVID rules at the moment, I can't. So that's gonna be getting delivered soon. Anyway, we are working on my three and a half meter tinny. Picked it up a couple of days ago, which I'm stoked about. Currently just um, grinding back all the pain. I couldn't wait. So. It was white on this side. Grinding it back now. That's what color it was. I started on the other side. Um, don't know how this weather's gonna hold out, but it's been raining for like a week straight. So hopefully holds off a bit longer and I can get it all done today. But yeah, it's coming up all right. Um, it's pretty hard to get this paint off. Don't know what paint the other bloke used, but with a grinder and a sanding disc, and then I've got another polish wheel to go over it as well to kind of get all the uh, lumps out and whatever else I missed. So yeah, big plans coming along for this boat. I uh, did come with a 15 horsepower Johnson motor, which is, I took it off because I'm painting it and so yeah, I'm gonna have a deck going in here, heaps of um, lights and whatnot. I'm also gonna have, I'm gonna steal the um, battery out of the camper trailer, the 75 amp, chuck that in here so I'll be able to charge my phone and whatnot. So I've got a long list of what I gotta do to the boat. But yeah, till then, till the fun stuff, I've actually gotta paint it first, get the rego numbers on there first and polish her up make it look sweet i'm also painting the trailer as well silver i'm not going to tell you what i'm painting the boat yet that'll be a surprise the trailer and boat did come with red gel as well so that was sweet i actually picked it up for a really really good deal a bargain um so that's why i kind of bought it as well i'm going to restore it and uh see what it turns out to be heaps of plans coming along for it so Plenty of videos as well. A lot of camping, fishing, you know the drill stuff. Man, my hands are killing me. <laughs> About nearly close to halfway. Just got that little panel there to do, and then the back. And then uh, I've got this other polishing wheel, I'll go over it, make sure there's no dents and kind of smooth it off a bit better. And then I've got primer paint, which I'm not too sure if I'll get to today, but fingers crossed I can at least put one layer of the uh, primer paint on. Just kind of help it from rusting in that overnight, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, a bit of protection, I guess. camera is filthy from all that sanding but we have finally completed sanding it back so I okay, so gave it a little wash get all the dust off I'm gonna use the chamois dry it up and then I'm gonna apply some of that primer to it so what I'm using for the primer is edge primer hey Z Dog shh um, basically allows paint to stick to aluminium because it is an aluminium boat so yeah we've got to do these a couple of times a couple of coats before we actually get the real color on there don't know if that color will be in this video don't know if i'm gonna upload this tonight or film a bit more i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do but i really want to get a video up so maybe i'll make a couple parts out of this build
Alright, so second coat now. I have started already, so it's about halfway. It really looks better with that second coat. Um, probably do three of these. We'll see how we go with the time because it takes a little bit longer to drive this cold weather. Alrighty guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. I ended up doing four coats of that, um, what is it called? Primer, sorry. Four coats of that primer so far, which I'm going to leave it as that. That's two cans. Um, it is a can job, I know, but, you know, should turn out all right. It should be all right. I've seen a lot of videos. Um, and look, I'm going to be using this boat for absolutely everything. It's my first boat. I'm going to be ramming into sandbanks and whatnot. So it doesn't really bother me as long as it looks better than what it did. So, yeah, that's how it come out so far, which is good. Um, I am polishing the bottom of that. I'm not paint. That's why I didn't paint it. I'm going to polish that so it'll be nice silver. It is day two of the boat build behind me. Um, just had a look, all that priming's been done. I've sanded back all the old paint and it looks pretty good to me. It's pretty smooth as well. There's no big lumps and holes or anywhere where I've grinded. I haven't put big dents in it, so it turned out all right. The sun is kind of out, it's a beautiful day. Um, and yeah, I don't know what much to say. Hope everyone is going all right through this COVID pandemic, I guess. And yeah, so today I am painting it. Um, can't hide the, what is it? The color from you guys any longer because I'm going to paint it. So I'm painting it gloss black. Um, should look all right, we'll see how we go. Completely different color to what it was. It used to be white, now I'm turning it black. And yeah, so give it a wipe down, shake up the cans and we'll see how we go. So I've just got the tinny off of the trailer because I'm actually going to wash it, sand it back, whatever, and start painting it, get it ready for painting. So I can put a coat on the trailer and then once that's drying I can put a coat on the boat. I'm kind of do two things at once and get it done a bit quicker. So Alrighty, so the first coat of paint going on. So it's going to look like a complete different boat from now on. Let's get into it. done the first coat it's um, a light coat I'm doing the first couple coats real light just kind of get it even and then uh, after the second coat or third coat I'll go more into detail on it so first coat looks good um, real gloss which is good it's what I'm after I've uh, washed up the trailer cleaned it up brushed it off basically use a right wire brush to get off the paint I could um, and then use the softer brush just to get the dirt off and that Wash that up, letting that dry, so I'm going to give the boat a coat. And then once I give the boat a coat and finish on that, the trailer should be dry so I can start painting the trailer up and kind of do both at once. Alrighty, so it's been probably about an hour now. I've done a lot of coats on the boat so far, it's looking good. Um, I kind of did stuff up on the grinding part, you can see all the little grinding parts when you get the reflection, but what can you do? I can always uh, later down the track if I want to do it properly, I'll have to sand it back. Got the trailer painted as well, got the second coat on just then. So yeah, it's looking good. It's more for just protection really from the salt water if I was taking in salt water and just to keep it from rusting as fast plus it looks a little bit better so yeah that's the boat I reckon it looks awesome looks better than the white alrighty so there you have it I've got the boat back on the trailer I um, did end up dipping out two bunnings to go grab some plywood I've got my plywood my carpet because I'm gonna be making a deck in there that's going to be for another video. I'm just going to spray. It's starting the rains. I've got to be quick. 
Um, just got to spray the number plate, not number plate, sorry, the uh, Red J numbers on the side here in white. I made up the stencil last night, so it's ready to go. Once this rain stops, then I'll uh, attack that. So I think that's just going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, till next time. Oh, and make sure you like and subscribe. More videos coming.